The boom bath is coming back with an axe to mumble rap. Mama Jack, what a hacksaw. Number one, but my pencils are number twos, cause that's all I do when I'm pooping my suit and I'm pulling the down like a prostitute when I'm dropping a deuce. And when I'm producing them lyrical power movements, these beats are like my saloon, cause these bars always got my schools in them. And I don't need Madame Musa to loosen them. Bitch, shit is real like I poop Jerusalem. I'm about to go spin off the cocoon and I'm cutting you from your mother's womb that I'm flushing you. Yo. Straight lyrics to the Brisnitch. Coming at you for shiznit. When I'm hype, isn't it? Get to the flow, man. Don't pretend to be the isn't it? Cause the damn cabinet so damn easy. With everything, I'm being greasy to the end. Easy. Just let it go. Don't have to give no false hope no more. Just let it go. One thing for sure. When I go for Unleash the chains. Become the almighty all play. Everything that I got for sir. Let me get some. Let me give what I've been hurting. So the pain I feel victim to. It's that St. Joe's Hospital man. They are crooked, crooked. Step in the wrong direction. Taking man's blessings. From the earth that we know true for how long we've stood here and still know true that this land has far more than what holds in a little injectable. How long have I known you? I don't like you. You ain't from nowhere that I can recall in my books. I say it's there. You gotta believe. You gotta know when the fire is in you. Don't ever let it go. How much can this thing do? Really? We know, we know, but why do we hold false hope? Why do we not see the change within us? But why did we change in the first place? To give us this sickening cause. Well, you see the plant, it doesn't, it doesn't cost. So without a cost, I cannot feed my family this $100,000 budget I get a year. Bare minimum. Probably making two. Three, four, who cares? Just keep pumping them and pumping them. We need to charge them. Here, take this, take that. He can't talk, he gets more. That's how it goes down. I seen it with my own eyes. The guy has a brain of a three-year-old, and he is taking a fucking shot glass full of pulls one at a time. He can't do them all at once. He can barely do anything. And he has to take it one at a time. And the nurse has to sit there and watch him make their money off every last pill that goes into this guy. If he can't talk, they are feeding this guy. It's the sickest thing. You know that half that hospital gets a stat holiday every month regardless if they have a stat or not. They get paid for a stat holiday. And they are making cuts on the patients like crazy. They don't give them any supplies or anything they feed them frozen food it's the sickest thing and that's like your profit you know and you feed them like these hundred thousand thousand dollar pills and injections but the food the food is the cheapest shit and that's what we're eating and that's what we're trying to get better off no they'd rather give you the drug that costs them so much more. And that's what the money is going to. It's the drugs. It's not going to the food. The food would help them. The drugs. The amount of drugs that goes down in that building. Is the sickest thing. And 90%. 99% of the drugs. Do not want to be taken. But. The hospital has to make money. And they are forcing their patients to take this medication. 
when they would rather just eat some good food, smoke a little weed, and do the same things that they would be doing in this entrapped environment where they can't do anything at all. And the only reason that they are pissed off is because they are forced to do things, forced to say things, otherwise they'll be trapped longer and taken more freedom away from them indefinitely. This is the thing. Because you are sick, it's an indefinite thing. You will always be sick because they know more about you than you will ever know. And anything you try to tell them, you don't understand yourself. And it is the sickest grip hold that they have on you. You cannot talk to them about medication. They don't want to hear it. They will, if they have a suggestion for you, if you do not like the suggestion, all of a sudden you don't understand your illness. And then you have to say, well, fuck, what do you want me to do? Get mad? I can't get mad because I'm in a mental hospital. You're going to call me crazy and give me more drugs. Okay, this is the sickest thing we are living with. I am living it first freaking hand. Okay, I have been stable. I am doing my own. I am pissed off, but I got a lot to be pissed off about. If I want to smoke a little weed, for God's sakes, let me smoke a little bit of weed. If I haven't done anything wrong, why do you keep injecting me with something that I am already cured with? You have already cured me and 60 times over I haven't done anything but said thank you and been a little bit too cheerful. So what? Now I'm a little bit angry. I guess that's what stable is. That's what you want everyone to be is just pissed off at you and you say that you're helping and no one even likes you and you just promote all this propaganda and all this nonsense, this fake news, as Trump would say, all this bullshit. Mental illness is the biggest bullshit, the biggest cash grab. I don't give a fuck what no one thinks. You guys are fucking thieves. The doctors are stalkers. They are Dockers, they are documenting nothing but watching this wash TV and being pissed off for eating shit food and having to take medication we don't want to take and being forced to say things we don't want to say and have to give our lives over for a 30 day sentence I would have served five years ago and had my life back together. All because I wanted to quit cocaine. And in jail, I got so fucking big. I was working out like crazy. If you had saw me when I went to hospital, I had probably gained another 20 pounds. And I was just healthy. And at that point, I was at hospital. Within the first six months, I gave myself an irregular heartbeat. I was working out so much. And then the meds kicked in. And then I gained all this fucking weight, this fat and shit. And I lost my whole routine. And now that I'm starting to finally get my feel back and work it out and trying to get it back and all this counter reactions is going on in my body and everything is just taking I don't want your meds I can take care of myself now I have proven myself meds do not prove anything one med is not a cure for mass disease a bunch of chemicals manipulated a bunch of times so that work has been put into it and can be charged a sum of money that can be taken from someone and put into a doctor's pocket or this pocket and the food. You know what? Spend the money on the good food and the patients will be in heaven and they'll be acting great. You let them smoke a little weed, they'll be in good moods. And just... Take the money, make the money out of whatever, just make it. But don't fucking make us take the meds. You don't have to fucking do this fucking bullshit. Eh. If you're gonna fucking make money out of nowhere, out of this fucking injection, just call this injection like 500 fucking dollars off me just for one fucking injection. You get to make that. Probably make all kinds of other shit off your fucking therapy. You ask me questions. You've been documenting me. That's fucking money. Like, what the fuck is up with you man you people are sick biggest cash grab monopoly in the fucking biz fuck you saint joe's you're a piece of fucking shit go to hell piece of shit bitch lick it thick suck it down fuck i don't give a fuck if your mama told you to jump off a bridge would you do it i'm a little pissed off Okay.
It gets to me. You know, when someone takes your life, it kind of gets to you sometimes. It kind of, you know, sticks in your head for the last five years. You haven't got a break from the same day and people can't even take a breath of fresh air if I wanted to. If I missed the 10 a.m. fucking courtyard. Because I'm sedated to all shit. I don't fucking get fucking fresh air the whole fucking day. You're fucking sick. The sickest fucking people. The shit that you got these nurses fucking manipulated to fucking do every fucking person in there is brainwashed to believe that they are helping and they are all sick. You are the sickest pieces of shit.